shitty first one is just a shitty first one. Okay, stop talking. <laughs> shitty first one is just a shitty first one. So this week we're talking about um, two sets of holds that are from the indie range of from Technic. Um, the NKR1 and the Talons. Um, the Talons come under the indie um, moniker from Technic despite being two holds. You know, whatever, we won't get into it. You're looking at two great big monster holds. I never really I didn't realise these guys were actually this big. I thought they were actually sort of like, you know, this big. I thought they were half the size. Um, having never seen them at the gym and never climbed on them before. But I bought them for my birthday because I wanted to treat myself. What you're looking at is two basically really big pinches with a great big sloper on top. Inset washer, little Technic star. The one thing they don't come with and these guys really need it is pre-drilled set screw holes. Uh, we actually pre-drilled and put set screws into these because when you watch the video from round one you'll see that they spin um, really quite easily because with the ball up here and you put the leverage on the bottom you can just spin these things no matter how tight you crank them. Both of the holes are hollow backed, really nice big thick walls so these guys are quite light considering their size but you know they're a little bit heavier than you'd, you'd expect. Now, what makes the difference between these two holds, because I thought they were actually opposite holds as well, is the in-cut that's actually just here. On this guy, there's a slight, this is the slopey, slopier one of the two, there is a slight in-cut. You're looking at four hands all the way across, even at the ends. So you've always got big four-hand pinches on these guys. And then you look at the other one, which, you know, again, is hollow-backed. You've got a slightly slightly more positive sloper, although it's not very positive. It's a little bit more flat on top, but the in-cut just on here, there's a nice little in-cut and it's way more positive when you get on it and go onto it on a, on a angled wall in any which way, shape or form. And then you look at something that I've wanted to get my hands on for a long time, is the NKR1. Um, slightly shaped, or reshaped, it's slightly more positive than the original, you can't get the original anymore. And Basically, it's just a great big sloper with a dimp in it. It's always one hand or two hands. Really nice, one big, great big pad. And whichever way you put this hold, even on a vertical wall, it's hard to pull on. Again, we, we pre-drilled and we put a set screw hole into it because it needs it. Uh, we did have it spin a few times. This hold, again, has a huge hollow back big inset column so the bolt is always nice and straight because this guy when you do get on it does have a tendency to drop and again putting the set screw hole in it actually stops it from dropping and talking your teen out a little bit. We've had these on the flat, we've had this on the 15, we've had these on the 30 and the 45 um, up on the roof and we played on the, on the, on the flat walls and traverses. Hey Dave, what's going on? Thanks Dave. Okay. Hard to hold, but super fun. Great, I'm glad I bought it for my birthday for myself. Easier to hold, much bigger than we thought. Check the videos out, see what we did. Um, there'll be more, don't worry. Um, we've got the half fat slopers and the hard mathematics to come. Peace.